The timeline is a powerful new feature in Onzong 1.993 that takes auto-scrolling to the next level. Onzong has always featured auto-scroll which lets you scroll from the top of the page to the bottom over a set amount of time. Like a teleprompter, this is linear from the top to the bottom, so it requires your song to be laid out in the order you plan to play it. Let's take a look at linear auto-scrolling first. To set up auto-scroll, tap and hold on the auto-scroll button in the lower right corner of the screen and choose the duration tab. To set a duration, slide your finger to the left or right to get close to the proper amount of time. Tap on the left or right to fine tune adjust the time by one second. This duration will then be saved to the song, or to the song within a set, if you have separate set song styles turned on. This means that you can have different durations for the song, depending on which set the song has been placed in. You can also set the duration of the song in the playback menu. Tap on the headphones icon and locate the duration slider. Use the slider to set the time, or tap in the text box to the right and enter the duration of the song using a keyboard. The slider goes up to 15 minutes, but you can set a different value by typing it in. The duration can also be set if you link your song to an audio track. OnSong will prompt you to change the song information, which will then set the duration of the song to the duration of the audio track. Once you have a duration set, tap on the auto scroll button to start scrolling vertically through the song. If you're using linear auto-scrolling, you can use a feature called Flow to lay out your song sections in the order they will be performed. See the Flow video tutorial for more details on using this great feature. Auto-scrolling is a great way to go hands-free, but it can be limited by its linear nature. Enter Timeline. Timeline lets you record song navigation events like scrolling, auto-scrolling, zooming, and selecting sections. You then tap on the auto-scroll button to play back those events. Let's record some events into our timeline and see how easy this is. Tap and hold on the auto scroll button in the live bar to display the menu. Tap on the timeline tab. Then tap start recording. The menu will automatically close and we can start playing through our song. We can tap or swipe to scroll, tap on sections, zoom in and out, and even toggle auto scroll to record linear auto scrolling. When we are all done, tap and hold on the auto scroll button to tap stop recording. We will now see all the events that we recorded. Let's tap off the menu and then tap on the auto scroll button. The song viewer will return the position where recording was started and then play through your recorded events until they are finished. When sections are selected, any MIDI events or scene changes that are applied to the section will be sent at that time. Tap and hold on the auto scroll button again to open the menu. You can change the entries in this list by tapping on the edit button and then reordering or even deleting timeline events. You can also choose to continue recording onto events that were already recorded. Tap on start recording and then keep on recording. OnSong records events until you stop recording or until you switch to a different song. You may also just want to start over. Tap on the eraser icon in the lower left to remove all timeline events from your list and start recording again. OnSong determines the type of auto-scrolling to perform based on which tab is selected in the auto-scroll menu. For instance, to return to linear auto-scrolling, simply tap on Duration, close the menu, and start auto-scroll. To switch back to non-linear auto-scroll, open the menu again and tap on Timeline. Whether you choose linear or non-linear auto-scrolling, you can pause, resume, and restart at any time. Tap on the pause button that appears to pause auto-scrolling. Tap again to resume where you've left off. If you want to take it from the top, double tap on the auto scroll button to restart. If you want to speed up or slow down auto scrolling, open the auto scroll menu and change the duration. If you are using linear auto scroll, just change the time. A shorter amount of time will cause the scrolling to occur faster. If you are using the timeline, change the duration and return to the timeline tab. As long as you've set a duration prior to recording your timeline events, OnSong will recalculate the appropriate playback rate based on the difference between the durations. When we play back our timeline, you'll see that everything is either sped up or slowed down. The length of your timeline events are not limited to the duration you set in the Duration tab. So I hope that explains how you can use the original linear auto-scrolling and the new timeline-based non-linear auto-scrolling to help you when performing live. If you have any questions, be sure to contact us at support at onsongapp.com.
Thanks for watching.